The dark side of the moon remains a mystery until now. The moon's veiled and uncharted far side has cast a shadow of mystery for countless centuries. Could life thrive in this lunar realm? And how vividly will the first authentic image of dark side of the moon be? Welcome to Strange Space. But before we embark on today's cosmic odyssey, ensure you've subscribed to this channel and activated those post notifications to explore mind-bending wonders. Join us on this epic voyage as we seek answers to the age-old question, who lives on the moon? The first real footage from the dark side of the moon. Recent technological strides have propelled us to unveil the mysteries of the enigmatic dark side of the moon. A pivotal breakthrough arrived in the form of advanced satellites equipped with high-resolution cameras capable of capturing intricate details of the lunar terrain. These images have exposed a landscape strikingly different from the familiar features of the near side, setting the stage for a profound cosmic revelation. Yet among these captivating lunar snapshots, one discovery stirred the cosmic pot, sparking intense speculation about life on the moon. These images appeared to portray structures and formations that resemble human-made objects. Some enthusiasts went as far as to suggest the presence of buildings and structures, igniting the tantalizing notion of a civilization residing on the lunar surface. The news of these images rapidly disseminated, triggering spirited debates and discussions among scientists, astronomers, and conspiracy theorists. The burning question loomed large. Could it be plausible that the moon conceals inhabitants, evading our detection for centuries? Or is this phenomenon a mere manifestation of pareidolia, a quirk of our brains crafting familiar patterns from the interplay of shapes and shadows? As we delve deeper into scrutinizing these images, the truth remains elusive, veiled in cosmic ambiguity. While skepticism prevails among some experts, others entertain that these images may herald a transformative chapter in our comprehension of the moon's past and its potential for harboring life. Theories abound, ranging from the existence of ancient lunar civilizations to covert lunar installations established by clandestine space agencies. The cosmos continues to beckon us with its enigmatic allure, inviting us to seek answers among the stars. Indeed, the enigma of who or what resides on the moon's hidden side remains an unanswered cosmic riddle. Our voyage of exploration and revelation persists as we endeavor to unlock the mysteries of the other side of the moon. The far side, often referred to as the dark side, has remained veiled from our view for centuries, shrouded in cosmic secrecy. It wasn't until 1959 that humanity experienced its inaugural glimpse of this enigmatic realm, a watershed moment in the annals of space exploration. The root cause of this one-sided lunar visibility traces back to a captivating celestial ballet known as tidal locking. This cosmic choreography, orchestrated by the gravitational interplay between Earth and the Moon, has harmonized the Moon's rotational period with its orbital period. The outcome? One side of the moon forever turned towards Earth, while the other lingered in perpetual cosmic obscurity. Yet this cosmic narrative takes an even more spellbinding turn. For the forces that brought about tidal locking are simultaneously steering the moon on a gradual exodus away from our planet. Each passing year witnesses the moon's retreat, creeping approximately 3.8 centimeters farther from Earth's embrace. This ongoing celestial migration, unfolding over millions of years, holds the potential for profound transformations in the lunar landscape. Nevertheless, for the foreseeable future, we shall remain tethered to the visage of the moon we have long known. Interestingly, Earth itself is not immune to the cosmic influences of these tidal forces. In a mesmerizing interplay of celestial mechanics, our planet's rotation gradually decelerates under the lunar sway. While the prospect of Earth becoming tidally locked to the Moon lies billions of years in the distant future, other cosmic events may reshape our solar system by that epoch, a testament to the ever-evolving cosmic drama that continues to unfold. The captivating tale of humanity's first encounter with the dark side of the Moon is interwoven with the remarkable journey of Michael Collins, the command module pilot of Apollo 11. While Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin etched their names in history by setting foot on the lunar surface in 1969, Collins occupied a pivotal role in lunar orbit at the helm of the Command Module Columbia. His contributions extended far beyond maintaining contact with Earth. They encompassed conducting scientific experiments and making profound observations. 
However, Collins's most profound achievement lay in being the first human to look at the fabled dark side of the moon. As Columbia gracefully orbited our celestial neighbor, Collins experienced radio silence and profound solitude when he ventured behind the moon, temporarily losing all contact with Earth. During these solitary vacations, he was treated to an awe-inspiring spectacle. The stark and rugged lunar landscape unfurled before him. He gazed upon craters, mountains, valleys, and plains untouched by human exploration, a testament to the moon's age-old mysteries. Yet there was more to behold in this cosmic theater, with no atmosphere to scatter their radiance and no sunlight to obscure their brilliance. The moon's dark side unveiled a celestial tapestry that left Collins awestruck. A multitude of brighter and more numerous stars than one could imagine painted the cosmic canvas, a breathtaking sight bestowed upon him alone. Among the lunar marvels he witnessed was the South Pole Aitken Basin, the moon's most colossal and profound impact crater, a scar of cosmic forces etched into the lunar landscape. In those solitary moments behind the moon, Michael Collins witnessed history and communed with the timeless beauty and enigma of the cosmos. Yet, it was not merely the lunar geography that captivated Collins. The profound sense of connection and vulnerability permeated his cosmic communion with the moon. He articulated a belief that the moon possessed its vitality, akin to a living entity, leaving him in profound reverence for its minuscule, glistening, and captivating nature. During his solitary celestial ballet, Collins orbited the moon a remarkable 30 times, each orbit granting him approximately 48 minutes of intimate acquaintance with the dark side. Armed with his scientific instruments, he diligently captured a visual and auditory record of his lunar ballet. He wielded his camera to freeze moments in time, etching the lunar mysteries onto film. He spoke into a tape recorder, sharing his observations, and made sketches and notes on maps and charts a cosmic chronicle that would later enlighten scientists and enthrall the public, expanding our knowledge of the moon's secrets. Yet, within this tale of lunar exploration, whispers of enigma endure. Allegations persist that not all of Collins's observations and experiences have been openly shared. One particularly intriguing assertion proposes that Neil Armstrong and his fellow astronauts were not the sole inhabitants of the lunar surface during their historic moon landing. This enduring controversy, shrouded in lunar mystique, continues to kindle the fires of curiosity, weaving a tapestry of questions and mysteries around the moon landing and the elusive dark side of the moon. In the annals of cosmic lore, intriguing claims have emerged from certain sources regarding unidentified flying objects (UFOs) allegedly observed during the historic Apollo 11 moon landing. These sources contend that Neil Armstrong and his fellow astronauts encountered enigmatic phenomena during their lunar sojourn, a revelation they claim was communicated to NASA but obscured by the agency. Among these sources are Otto Binder, a distinguished writer with a past affiliation with NASA, and Maurice Chatillon, a former NASA communications engineer. Binder asserted that he had access to a covert NASA recording documenting Armstrong's conversation with Mission Control during the moon landing. He purportedly heard Armstrong describe the presence of massive spacecraft on the far side of a lunar crater, silently observing their monumental endeavor. Chatelain, an architect of the Apollo Communication and Data Processing System, corroborated Binder's account revealing that he witnessed Armstrong's radio transmission and detected UFOs on his radar screen. He contended that this encounter was well known within the NASA community, though it remained shrouded in secrecy until recently. Both Binder and Chatelain maintained that they possessed evidence substantiating their claims, yet this evidence was either confiscated or destroyed by NASA or the U.S. government. They further alleged that they faced threats and harassment from authorities for daring to unveil what they perceived as the truth. Despite encountering skepticism and opposition from experts and officials, their unwavering belief was that the public had a rightful claim to knowledge regarding potential extraterrestrial life. These enigmatic and contentious claims continue to orbit in the cosmic ether, adding yet another layer of intrigue to the historic Apollo 11 mission and the cosmic enigma that is the moon. The claims surrounding Neil Armstrong's alleged UFO sighting on the moon continue to fuel ongoing debates, 
leaving some convinced of their authenticity while others dismiss them as falsehoods or hoaxes. The enigma of why NASA might conceal such an encounter remains a profound question as the presence of classified or missing secret tapes and documents and the memories and testimonies of those involved keep the fires of speculation burning. The cosmic enigma endures in the broader context of lunar mysteries, from the moon landing to the secrets concealed on the dark side of the moon and the persistent claims of an extraterrestrial presence. Armstrong's purported UFO sighting only adds another layer of intrigue to the historical event, yet the ultimate truth remains veiled in a cloak of secrecy and conjecture. Donna Hare, a former NASA contractor, contributes to the tapestry of a lunar enigma with her captivating narrative. She alleges that she was privy to a hidden world within NASA, one where efforts were made to airbrush and manipulate lunar photographs to eliminate structures that might resemble buildings or machines. Hare's role as a technical illustrator and draftsman for a contractor at the Johnson Space Center in Houston during the early 1970s, coupled with her security clearances, granted her access to various facets of the center. This proximity to NASA's photos and images enabled her to make her astonishing claims, adding another layer of intrigue to the mysteries surrounding the moon and its secrets. Donna Hare's startling claims revolve around a pivotal incident where a colleague laboring in a photo laboratory presented her with an aerial photograph of Earth, bearing a distinctive shadow cast over the waters. In a dramatic revelation, this colleague posited that the shadow resulted from a UFO's presence shedding light on a covert facet of his job, airbrushing anomalies such as these out of photographs before they were released to the public. Additionally, Hare asserted the existence of lunar photographs that depicted structures eerily resembling buildings and machines, systematically erased from the images before their public dissemination. These revelations, if substantiated, would carry profound implications, insinuating that NASA may possess knowledge of extraterrestrial life or activities and be actively engaged in their concealment. Skeptics, however, offer alternative interpretations. They contend that what might appear as structures on the lunar surface could be geological formations, shadows, or photographic artifacts. Furthermore, retouching photographs was common in the pre-digital era, often employed to enhance clarity or rectify imperfections. Hare's claims gained widespread attention during the 2001 event hosted by the Disclosure Project in Washington, D.C. This initiative sought to compile testimonies from individuals with knowledge of UFOs, extraterrestrial life, and government cover-ups. While her testimony was one among over a hundred, her direct association with NASA lent credibility to her assertions, sparking a renewed interest in the mysteries that linger around our lunar neighbor and beyond. Indeed, whether ultimately verified or not, Donna Hare's claims fuel a broader cultural and philosophical discourse regarding the potential existence of extraterrestrial life and the depths of government awareness. Her narrative reverberates in the corridors of cosmic contemplation, challenging our conventional understanding of humanity's place in the vast expanse of the universe. It calls into question the levels of transparency and disclosure within institutional entities. The stories about life on the moon, even though many people didn't believe them at first, have played a very important role in helping us understand the mysteries of space and find answers to our questions. These stories remind us that the universe is like a big, open book of mysteries that always invites us to ask questions and explore what we don't know. So they encourage us to keep asking questions and keep looking for answers, just like explorers on a never-ending journey. As we use advanced technology to explore deeper into space, we wonder what secrets may still be hidden on the other side of the moon. Should space exploration efforts be more open and transparent? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and most importantly, subscribe to our channel. Click this video right here on your screen as we uncover the truth behind many mysteries in our upcoming videos.